Hey guys, what's up? Alright, well, I'm going to be showing you how to get a basic HUD support for, uh, let's say, a variable or something. Like in my example, I'm using stem, as you can see at the top with the bar, the scales, and so forth. Change the colors too if it gets slow. Alright, with that aside, let's get to it. Alright, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your uh, character, or whatever it is you got, you got your variable set up. For example, the one I'm using is current stamina. And the first thing you're going to want to do is click on this little eye right here. It sets it to public so you can actually use it in other places besides this. Alright. Then you're going to want to go to your HUD document or whatever. Or your blueprint, I'm sorry. And you can do that just by going down here and say over here. Got my own folder for HUD stuff. Blueprint. You can right click and go new. Uh, blueprint. Right. Sorry. <laughs> That's why you practice before you do these things, right? And then you type in here and just look for HUD. There she goes. As you see, there's my HUD underneath it, too. Anyways, I already got the HUD up and stuff, so I'm going to go over here and you can. Uh, that way I'm zoning out, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so I got it set to the eye, okay. And go to component, or not, defaults, what was it? Construction script, god damn it. I swear to god, sometimes. <laughs> Alright, so in the construction script, you want to create a dynamic material instance or whatever of your HUD material or whatever. And if you don't have one, I'll go over that in a second. And then uh, you want to create a uh, stamina bar, which is what I did over here. But you can do that by going to new variable, type in, let's say, health bar. You want to make sure when you're looking at the type, you type in. So you get this serial instance dynamic that lets you uh, change it, which is cool. Just delete that. Sure, whatever. Alright, but yeah, anyways, you set that to whatever your material is or whatever, and then you set, you grab this by, you know, click and drag and set, and that will get that all ready for you. But before I get into this, I'll go show you the uh, material really quick, just so you know what's going on there. The material's nothing special. It's just got an emissive color hooked up to a lerp, and it blends between uh, the red and the green. What's important is that you got the uh, surface type, or the material settings over here, right? Just look on the left. You can copy them as they are. Give you a second to look at it. <laughs> and then over here, the other important thing is the current stamina node I got set up. You can make one of these by simply, you know, pressing 1 when clicking, then right click on it convert to parameter. And it's going to ask you for a name. This is important because if you don't have the name right when the next part, it won't, you know, do anything. Let's take up, I'm just going to use the one I already got, which is current stamina. Then I'm going to go back to uh, the HUD. And as you can see back here, what, oh, God damn, I keep doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, they plug your HUD in, or your uh, material in here. Just click whatever you got set to. But yeah, back to the event graph. This is something I just recently figured out, so bear with me as I'm still trying to, you know, get the specifics of it. Or specifics of it, I'm sorry, I can't talk now. And make sure I got everything right as I go along. But yeah, anyways, event, first thing you want to do is grab an event. I'm sorry, I got it backwards. <laughs> draw event. Yeah, there it is. Event, draw, receive, HUD. As you can see, it pops up right there. You want to take the X and the Y and use a uh, convert an integer to a float. Once you're done with that, make it a vector 2D. Make the return value for the screen. Set the screen size. And this is the part that's important for actually getting your HUD over or your variable over here. First, you want to get the player character. You can do that by just typing get player. Oops. Player character right there. Then you want to do drag that out and go to cast to my character. Again, you just cast to my character. Okay, simple enough. Then from the cast to my character, you get something special or whatever compared to before, because now I'll be able to access all the uh, stamina stuff I had from my other one. See? These aren't in anywhere over here, but they're all in this. So anyways, you set this or the execution line over to the uh, set scalar parameter value or whatever. And you type in current stamina, which is, remember, the uh, 
right here, this parameter, which switches between the two. And uh, yeah, for the target, you set your stamina bar, which is you know what's going to be drawn on the screen. And then for the uh, target of this, you obviously you have that. And for the value, you use uh, the your, your variable, which is in my case again current stamina. And now over here, this is going to look kind of complicated at first, but really all it's doing is just setting the position of where the bar is. Like, see, this is 20 off the top and 20 off the bottom. Well, just for a quick example, I'll just show you really quick. You saw how it looked in the beginning, but in case you missed it, you see where it's at. I'm going to go back in here. Let's change this to 200 instead of 20. Compile, minimize, hit play. As you see, it's a lot lower. It's moved 200 down. The reverse of that number would move it up, but then you wouldn't be able to see shit. <laughs> Actually, no, it wouldn't because it goes out of zero. I'm sorry. Forgive me, I'm still learning. <laughs> Set that back to 20. And now if you want to get the uh, stretching and squashing of the bar as it drains, you can uh, hook this, you know, your stamina in my case again, into the a lerp, which is, you can just press, actually, no, you can't do that, it's the of materials. Just type in lerp, and you'll see a float lerp, which is what I used. And what a lerp does is, as we used before, it blends between two things. In this case, or whatever, I used a uh, A of 0 and a B of 100, which is the width I want it set to. And then I use the alpha from the current stamina, which, you know, makes it move between those two values. Like, for example, you saw the size... I'll show you that again. I don't know why I'm doing this. See the size of the bar right there? If I go in here and change the B to, let's say, 500. Instead of File, play. See now the bar's going way off the screen. And uh, yeah, everything else. I mean, if you highlight over them, it'll give you a little bit of an explanation for it. And uh, yeah, I hope I covered everything. I believe I did. I haven't figured out entirely what screen size does yet, because I'm still just picking apart things in the uh, content examples they have provided. But if I figure it out, I'll uh, maybe update this tutorial or post a new one. Alright, well with that, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, have fun with messing with Unreal.